Hey everybody, Kurt Bandit here. What I'm going to be going over right now is the Tally Ho Emerald Edition playing cards. So this is a really nice deck of cards. Let's get into the tuck case. So the front of the tuck case has Emerald Edition King's Wild Project right in there. Um, has Tally Ho, really big letters in the center. Um, has playing cards number 13 written on the bottom there all on a nice design that sort of has the border of the cards incorporated. Okay, so the top of the case has uh, King's Wild Project written across there. The side of the case has designed by Jackson Robertson. Um, this side of the case has United States Playing Card Company. The bottom has some information that says designed by Jackson Robinson, distributed by King's Wild Project, um, made in the USA. It has manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company and has the um, King's Wild logo, I believe, right there. It's really neat that these cards are also recyclable. So the back of the tuck case is indicative of the back design of the cards, which is really nice. Um, just a really nice design there, and I'll get more into that when you get to the cards. The flap has number 13, which you'll be able to see <coughs> right in there. And then on the rest of the flap, it has um, just some information about Tally Ho, the logo, and the USPCC. The flap here has number 13 as well. And the inside is white. <coughs> so the cards themselves are really nice. They've got a slight metallic sheen to them, you, which you probably can't tell from the camera, but these cards actually do have a nice little uh, metallic sheen going on. Um, what you get with this deck, I can't remember what the ad cards are because I took them out, um, but the deck itself is really neat. It comes with a double backer that features this back design, which has got the nice big circle on the, in the center. Nice, um, nice sort of uh, flourishy design all the way through and the design actually goes over into the borders um, these borders are actually thinner than a regular bicycle deck I believe so it's kind of neat that way that the design just looks big on the card <coughs> so there's your double backer um, the deck also comes with two with a duplicate king of hearts um, just probably because it's distributed by the wild kings um, but it comes with a dupl duplicate King of Hearts, and all the red cards are green, which is nice. And they've got custom court cards all the way through, as you can tell by that King of Hearts right there. Uh, the Jokers are kind of neat. Just got a guy with a uh, bugle riding a horse. Um, the Jokers, you have a black Joker and you have a green Joker, uh, but the Jokers themselves are identical, I believe. So there you have that. Um, the uh, court cards are really nice. You've got some custom pips as well. The pips are a little bit smaller um, than your regular bikes. Um, just sort of a neat little tidbit there. Um, all the court cards, like I said, are uh, custom. So there is your uh, Queen of Hearts. They've just got a really big court card design. Takes up all the card. Um, so, and you'll see that with like the Jack of Spades there. Just got a really nice court card design all the way through, using up as much space as they can. The uh, Ace of Spades, really nice card, really intricate design. So they've got like a bugle right there, got horseshoes at the top, got the wheel in the center of the Ace, um, King's Wild Project on the bottom and designed by Jackson Robinson. They've got uh, 2015, on either side of the emerald there and they've got um, number 13 playing cards tally ho at the top so just really nice intricate design for that ace of spades let's get into a little bit of the handling the cards handle nicely uh, the, they feel a little bit um, like a thinner stock versus a uh, bicycle deck of playing cards but the edges of the cards feel a little bit softer like they've been better cut than a standard deck of bikes as well um, they've got a nice finish got that nice uh, leonoid finish on the cards I believe 
um, and overall just handles nicely. Looks pretty good in fans because of that thinner border. You can see the uh, the borders are going across um, and fans fairly evenly. Uh, dribbles nicely because of the thinner stock so it makes it really nice to dribble and handle but the stock isn't so thin that you uh, have trouble doing flourishes and cuts with the cards which is nice. After a bit of use the cards actually are uh, they don't slip around as much as they do when they're coming out of the box which is nice and it just handle and feel like a really good deck of cards. Alright guys so that is the Tally Ho Emerald Edition. Um, if you have any questions about this deck of cards, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, and I will catch you later.